Welcome back for another video. My name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos for non-techies like me and this is going to be a very important video. I'm going to talk about caching, what it is and the things you need to know about it. And the reason I'm making this video is I've got lots of videos I've made on YouTube alone. I have over 150 videos and I get comments and people will say, I did what you said and it didn't work. And in reality, what I told them to do does work perfectly, but they don't fully understand all the aspects of their website and they don't understand that they have this thing called caching. Now, what caching is, is it's typically implemented in a WordPress plugin that's installed on your site, whether you did it yourself, a developer did it, your host automatically did it, and I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. But what it does is, the way WordPress works is there's a database and then there's some files. And so whenever someone visits your website, your WordPress has to go to the database and say, give me the home page and then it gives it the home page and then it shows the home page now what happens is there's a slowness that can occur in your website when wordpress is going to the database requesting this information going to the database saying give me the info and so what caching does is it creates a file on your website for every single page on your website so that wordpress doesn't have to go and ask the database any longer hey, give me this bit of information. It's going to automatically be there and WordPress will have immediate and near instantaneous access to that information. Now, what this does is it speeds up WordPress dramatically. Your website will work so much faster because it doesn't have to keep going to that database asking for things. And that is usually the biggest bottleneck with any web hosting company is that database access. And so if you sometimes... Uh, go and people are giving their opinions of whether you should use WordPress or not. They usually say WordPress is a little slower and it can be because it relies on a database. So this is where caching comes in and caching will create these static version of your website. And so here's where caching causes problems. So you make a change. You don't realize you have caching. You make a change to your, your website and that change is now in the database. Well, when someone, including you, goes and looks at your website, it's not asking the database for the latest version. It's showing this version from this cache and you don't see your change. And in, in, in those situations, you have to do something called flushing your cache and then it will be rebuilt. I hope I'm explaining that better. I wish I should have thought in advance of some super easy analogy to make it easier to understand. So you should use caching on your website. You can have a website that loads in five seconds, you install caching and now it loads in two seconds when someone visits your website. So caching is very important and it makes your website more stable, more reliable and faster. And being having a fast website is incredibly important. So the rest of the video, I'm gonna talk about some of the different caching solutions and I'll show you the one that I use and uh, let's just uh, get into it. So actually before I get into it, remember I mentioned that there's some web hosts that force caching on you you. Well, one of those web hosts is GoDaddy. So for every comment someone left me saying, I did what you said and it didn't work, most of the time it's because they had GoDaddy, they have no clue they have caching and they have no clue how to flush it. And so when you have GoDaddy, they automatically force it on you no matter what you do. And so I've got this useful uh, page here on GoDaddy's website on how to flush the cache. Essentially, when you have GoDaddy, there's a new little menu item at the top of your WordPress admin area and it says GoDaddy. And when you hover over it, there's an option there that says flush cache and that will flush it. Now, I do not recommend GoDaddy at all. I recommend InMotion hosting and uh, they don't force this on you. And the problem with forcing it on people is they don't know it's there and they don't know that you need to flush it uh, if you make a change. So anyways, that is GoDaddy for you. Uh, so that's how you're gonna flush it in GoDaddy whether you knew you had it or not. Now, one of the more popular caching plugins that's free. I'm going to go through some of these free options is W3 Total Cache. I re recommend not using this plugin. It's not actively developed. There's next to no support for it and it's 
overly complicated. Uh, let's see if there's any screenshots. Yeah, they don't have a screenshot here because it's so darn complicated. Uh, it's complicated for me. It, sh it doesn't need to be that complicated. But anyways, there's W3 total cash. The next one that is kind of coming up, it's called Comet Cash. Now, this has actually had several names in the past, um, but it's Comet Cash right now. And uh, it's uh, there's a free version and there's also a paid version, and the paid version is actually very affordable. I, I totally would recommend this. As a matter of fact, I think I want to do a a in-depth video on Comet Cash to show you how to use it because it's free and it's a great solution. And if you wanted that paid support, that's an option for you as well. And that's going to be Comet Cash. Maybe we can arrange a coupon with the developer. Uh, so I would recommend taking a look at Comet Cash and taking a look for a review video that I will do on this. As a matter of fact, if you're watching this video now, I'll pin my review of Comet Cash to the first comment in the comment section down below. You could just look for that down below. One of the more popular ones is WP Super Cash, and I believe this is owned and run by WordPress's parent company, Automatic. And you can see right here, it says Automatic. And uh, it is nice in the sense that it, there's very few settings, so it's real quick to get it set up and implemented. You don't have many options with it, and I personally haven't used WP Super Cache, although this is what I believe is powering that GoDaddy caching. It's this, but the name doesn't, it doesn't have this name on it. So uh, you could look at WP Super Cache. Maybe I should do an in-depth review of that as well, but I would definitely say go with Comet Cache. And here's the one that I use, and the reason I use it is because I've had it for a long time. It works, and uh, it's also the main paid option. It's called WP Rocket, and you can see from their website, it's actually on a ton of websites. Now, this is a pricey option. Let me first show you the pricing before I go any further. A single site is going to be $39, and that's for a year of updates and support. If you want more, they discount that price in year two or three if you wanted the updates and the support. And you could also go with this unlimited site option. I do think this is very expensive for a caching solution. To, to just be frank with you, I do have it and I do love it and I do think it's fantastic. And if you have a very important website and you're doing very important things with your website, this is probably a great option. In the time that I've been using this, about two years, I have never needed support and it's just a rock solid plugin. It's super easy to use and it's constantly being developed and there's lots of different things that it does to make your website work faster. And what's nice is you have this ability to have access to support with them and they're a rock solid development company. They have several different WordPress products. So this is what I use. You can just go to their website. You can see it in the video. It's wp-rocket.me. That's their website URL. Uh, I can put a link, a naked link down below to it as well. I'll pin it to the comment section. So these are some of the important options with or options that you can choose if you wanted to implement caching on your website. I recommend it, but I'll tell you the number one, and, and I, I'm the superhero when people have had problems and they ask me to help them and I charge to them to help them. And it's really just a matter of flushing the cash and it's an easy payday. Although I usually um, will tell them how to do it themselves moving forward. So uh, anyways, if you um, want to speed up your website, look at having caching. If you're using GoDaddy, make sure you know how to flush your cash and look out for the review video on Comet Cash. Hey, before you go, I have something for you. And before I get into that, I wanted to ask you to do something for me. If you could give me a thumbs up on this video, and if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button right beneath me. If you have a question on this video, I'd be happy to answer it. You can also leave a comment or a question down below this video. Hey, I put together a course just for you, and I'm going to give it to you for free. All you have to do is click on the button right here on the right. It's called the three steps 
steps to WordPress success. It's an awesome course. You're going to love it. I would love for you to join in and enroll as a student in this course. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I do it just for you.